Now, as the rain begins to move out of the Austin area, the flash flooding danger still exists, as Chris was just talking about. But it's getting better in some spots. KVU's Tina Shively's live again near 12th and Lamar, where we've heard the water was pretty high there earlier. Tina, how is it looking out there now? You know, we've seen a lot of the damage that water can do outdoors, but it can also do some damage indoors as well. We've got Holland Jones joining us this morning from Whole Earth Provision Company. Nice to see you, Holland. How you doing? So tell us a little bit about um, your story. You've got a little bit of water in here this morning. How did you find out uh, that all this flooding was happening? Well, we, uh, when it's going to rain like this, we monitor it. Uh, there's a USGS station right across the street. Mm -hmm. So we kept an eye on it and with the flash flood watches, uh, keep an eye on that station. When it gives, gets above certain levels, we go ahead and send someone down here. I came down this morning and it was already in the street. Uh, so called a couple guys in and we started just moving merchandise up off the floor as quick as we could. How bad was it at the height of the water here? At the height of it, it we had um, a few inches in here in a couple places. Okay, so you guys worked quickly to try and you're worried about water damage, obviously. We were trying to save as much uh, merchandise as many of the clothes and games and things like that and get them up off the floor, uh, just move them up out of the way. And uh, when actually, when waves would come, these big surges would come under the door. Oh. It was pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty intense. Now, you guys have been here for quite a few years now. Uh, yeah, we were just looking. Uh, we guess we've been here um, about 18 years at this particular location. The company's been in Austin for 40 years. 44. Wow. So when was the last time you've seen water like this in the store? The last time you got in the store, we think, was uh, it was in 01. Okay. Um, we've seen several floods since then that have gotten uh, very close. But the last time we had water in the store was in 2001. So what are we looking at now water damage-wise? Describe what we're seeing here. Um, I mean, we're going to have, We looks like we saved a lot of the merchandise. We have some merchandise damage. Um, certainly the carpets are going to be an issue. Right. We're going to come in here in the morning and, and look about certainly wet vac and fans and everything see if we uh, see if if we can try and get open and get people to come down and do some shopping if anybody needs raincoats or umbrellas you guys through. right you guys are, are near Shoal Creek so this is something that you've been through before obviously uh, so you're ready to get back open as soon as you can get everything back and dried out hopefully we'll kind of assess in the morning and look at the uh, look at the wet carpets and and see what we can do but we appreciate any local support people coming <laughs> down and helping us out so. excellent okay Holland Jones thank you so much for chatting with us this morning rough night go home and get some sleep now Brian back to you